today let's start with chapter number five. This is information for comparison. Yes. Uh, now in management accounting, we have seen that a cost accountant will generate all that information that is required by the managers. And then they will mm -hmm. going to communicate all this information to the managers so that managers can use it for planning, controlling, and decision making. So whenever we are providing information to the manager for all these purposes, so information needs to be comparative. And it's really important because if I'm only going to tell the manager, let's say for the year, the profit is $2,000 for the year, for example, 2020. So it doesn't mean anything because, okay, we are having profit, the profit is $2,000, that's it. This is not a meaningful information. This is not a useful information. But instead of this, if we are going to report a comparative information that, okay, 2020, we are having profit of $2,000, but previous year in 2019, we were having a loss of $500. So previous year, we were having a loss of $500. This year, we are having a profit of $2,000. Now, this is what such kind of information is a comparative information. So now manager can get an idea that, okay, previous year, our performance was not good. We were having a loss due to any reason. And now we are having a profit. So what we did different as compared to the previous year. So when we will be able to compare this information and to investigate the reasons, so such kind of comparative information can be useful for the managers. How we can produce comparative information for the managers? There are lots of different techniques for that. For example, first of all, most important variances. Vari variances basically mean the differences. Then after that, exception reporting and so on. So all these techniques we will going to discuss in this chapter. Clear with this overview? Yes, sir. Okay. Then the topic list, first of all, type of comparison. What are the ways that we can use for comparison? What are the different types of comparison? Then identifying differences, how we can find out if there are any differences. Variances, how we can calculate the variance. What is variance basically? One, we, are have, we set up the budget, that that what we want to do. Budget is what, budget is basically is our expectation. For example, we want to produce 1000 units in a month. This was our budget. Now we are going to compare it with actual performance. Actually, we produce 1200 units. So what we did basically, we, when we compare budgeted performance with the actual performance, so here we realize that we produce 200 more units than expected or than budgeted. So this is what we called variance, the difference between budgeted and actual. After that, there are different type of variances, three variances we will going to learn here, how to calculate the variance of sales revenue, then how to calculate variances in materials and how to calculate variances in overheads. Uh, sorry, labor, not overheads. Overheads okay. is not part of your course and labor. So these variances today we will going to learn in this course, of, in this chapter. Then after that cost variance calculation, we're going to look into that. And most important topic, you should not only learn how to calculate the variance, but over and above the most important thing is that you should be able to interpret your results, that if there is a variance, if there's a difference, whether good or bad, so you should be able to interpret that. That is it good or bad? And what are the reasons? If it's good, what, what are the reasons? If it's bad, so what can be the potential reasons for that? Last but not the least, ex exception reporting that we need to do the managers. So this is all we will going to discuss in chapter number five. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Now, types of comparison. There are different ways how we can compare our information. First of all, with previous periods. For example, if you want to see how was our pro performance in 2020 year and how is our performance in 2021. If we are going to compare two years, current performance with the previous performance, this is what we can say previous period comparisons. So current performance versus previous performance. This is one way to compare the information. Second, corresponding periods, or this can be considered as parallel comparisons. So corresponding periods basically mean that, for example, how was our results in one summer versus another summer? How was our performance in one winter? Season versus season, we can say, versus second winter. Most important, how is our current performance versus our competitors, if data is available, versus our competitor. So such kind of parallel comparisons, or we can say with quarter one of this year versus quarter or current quarter. So such kind of comparisons are basically considered as corresponding periods for parallel periods. Then we are having four costs. Four costs basically, when we try to compare information with the expected results in the uh, of the future. For example, our forecast was that we want 1000 units and how much actually we produce 800 units. So there's a difference of performance of 200 units and so on. And similar to forecast, we are also having budgets. Budgets basically mean we are actually going to set some targets and then we will going to compare our actual performance against those targets. So this is what we can say budgeted versus actual performance. So these are the different ways how we can compare our performance, maybe with the budgets, with the previous period, with the parallel periods, with the forecasts, and so on. Clear with types can of- Can you forecast? Please, I'm sorry. Forecasts are basically similar to the budgets. They are similar to budgets. Forecast basically means we will going to estimate something and based on the estimation, estimated results, we will going to compare our actual performance. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So budgets are and forecast are same for now. All right. Any question? No, sir. Okay. 